Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So today what I'd like to talk to you about is one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're trying to manifest things in their life. Manifestation is all about vibration and alignment. And quite often when people are starting learning how to manifest and starting to play in the manifestation sort of realm consciously, because we're doing it all the time anyway, unconsciously, they fixate on one item external from themselves. So for instance, say somebody is wanting to manifest their ideal partner, their soulmate, or their, you know, their love of their life. They might get the feelings they and the, the way that most people do that is by looking back on their lives to try and connect with a time that they felt a certain way. What then happens is quite often people will then find somebody that they think helps them to feel the way that they want to feel. And they make that person the goal of what they're trying to create. And that person isn't. It's never about a specific thing external from yourself. So for instance, if you are trying to manifest a soulmate or create space in your life for a soulmate, it's about creating the feelings and the energy of having that within yourself. As soon as you externalize that onto somebody else and you think that somebody else is going to give you those feelings, then you'll find that you decrease your vibrational rate because you are giving away your power to someone else. And I'm sharing this because I did all of these things when I was younger. I mean, I remember as a teenager, you know, fixating on a guy and thinking that he was like the be all and end all of life. But it, it's never about that. It's never about one specific person. It's about focusing on the state and your vibration as you would be should you have what you're looking for in your life. And you're, what you're looking for is not a specific person. It's a state of being. Um, I mean, we've just been talking about soulmates, but it could be um, a job or it could be success of some sort. And you might think that that success requires you to achieve certain things external from yourself, but we never really truly know how the universe is going to bring us whatever it is we desire. And if we fixate and we hold that we think this person, that job, this car, that... Um, experience is the only way for us to feel the way we want to feel, then we lock ourselves and become fixed and rigid. And as soon as we're fixed and rigid, we're no longer in flow. We're no longer allowing the universe to create through us. We're no longer being in partnership with source. What we're trying to do is say we know better. And as soon as we do that, we create resistance. And resistance takes us out of flow and it prevents things that we're trying to create from coming to us. And there's so much more to manifestation than what I'm simply sharing in this little video. But this is just one of the simple mistakes that most people make when they start learning to manifest and they start doing it consciously. And I'm really just sharing it with you so that when you start playing around with the energy, you realise that as soon as you lock onto something external from yourself, that you are giving your power away and you're starting to create resistance. And when that happens, it's about letting go of the specifics and starting to come back into generalization, um, starting to focus back on the sensations, the feelings, the energy, the vibration within yourself that will then draw what it is that you're trying to create into your life. And it might not be the person you think it's going to be. It might not be the job you think it's going to be. It might not be the path to success that you think it's going to be either. The universe will bring whatever you need to you in the manner that is absolutely perfect, in the timeline that is also perfect. And it's our job to give up resistance, to let go of fixating on certain things and just allowing ourselves to enjoy the journey, enjoy the process. Um, and the more we enjoy the process, the more we go with the flow, the more we enjoy life, the more we're grateful and appreciative and all these wonderful things that increase our vibration, the quicker, the more easily everything will flow to us. 
I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, if you like these little videos, please like and subscribe because it helps me to be seen by more people. And if you are interested in manifestation, then I have an online course that um, you can join anytime you want. And I'll put the details to all of that below in the, in the episode notes. So much love from me to you, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.